first. All right. All right, guys, I want to get this visual here real quick before I get off into the information here. Let me uh, share my screen. I want to share my screen here. I want y'all to get this visual. Are y'all seeing that? Y'all seeing that water just running and running and running? Guys, I want y'all to picture that. I want to get to the mental picture. That's cash flow. That's just flowing. And it's just flowing. And it's just flowing. And it's just flowing. That's cash flow, guys. Just flowing. Flowing. And flowing. Okay? Y'all see that? I want you to picture your cash flow running just like this, not just yours, but everyone in your community, in your churches, your nonprofits, your charities, your hospitals, your lending institutions, your businesses, all having ongoing residual passive cash flow. And guys, understand, this only shuts off when you shut it off. And guess what? If anything is sending us cash flow like this, who is out of their mind to want to shut that off, right? That's money that just continues to come. Continues to come while you're sleeping, while you're doing whatever you want to do, or however long you want to do it for. Just money just coming in like water, like air. Right? All right, I just want to give y'all that visual. I want to set the tone for what I'm about to for what I'm about to go into. Okay. Let me stop this video here. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. So, guys, listen, this has been a long-awaited video because I really want to tackle, and you know, you guys saw the title, We Are Not Them Family. Uh, I took the time out because. There are many people that got just totally, totally ruined and, I mean, totally just uh, run out of the shoulder with these blessing looms and these cash gifting programs, uh, these money flowers, eternal seed. Guys, I did research because I've never been a part of one of them, but I talked to administrators of them. And... Of course, when they saw our operation and saw how, you know, uh, the infrastructure worked, it was like, you know, it was like, wow, yeah, this is nothing like, you know, what we have been a part of with these things that have been going on, going around in all these communities. So I thought it would be, as a leader, you know, uh, important that if I addressed it, because I know a lot of times, you know, it comes up in conversation. And no matter how much we even say, we're not a cash gifting, we're not a blessing circle, we're not any of, you know, no Ponzi or no pyramid scam. Still, people want to whomp us up because, you know, uh, maybe they're so used to tangible products, they're not familiar with intangible products, understanding the digital world, okay? It's more billions and trillions of dollars being generated with intangible products because in the digital space, folks, okay? It's all about uh, uh, intangible product, okay? A digital wallet is what Cash App and them are using to generate billions of dollars. PayPal, Zelle, uh, American Express, your own bank account, they're using intangible products to facilitate transactions, okay? And yet, they're receiving the bulk of the cash flow, okay? And so, we present that as a legitimate business, but still, I want to address why, why looms and why all these things, they're all the same, guys. They are all the same, okay? Now, I'm not just going to have you to hear it. I want you to see it, but please, okay? I want you to see apples to apples, how, what you, how, how, how you can claim your stake here and know for, a, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, we are not those types 
of things, okay? So let me go right into it. First off, I want to go into our digital wallet, our digital bank. First off, and I want you to see, because I know you're going to be showing this to, you know, a friend, family member, or somebody you know that you may have been showing and they have probably have told you, oh, man, you're one of those things. And so I want you to see our operation first off, because uh, I got a lot of things queued up that uh, that's going to help us along the way so you can see and have total trust and confidence that we are not any of those things that are Ponzi or illegal or, un or, or unethical and above board and really does work in terms of getting cash flow to as many people as possible when you see how we function, right? So let me share my screen. All righty, bada boom, bada bing. Now, right here, I went in and created a demo account. It's called Tuesday, December 7th, okay? Because today's date is Tuesday, December 7th. So let me log into this here real quick. So this is a demonstration account, ladies and gentlemen. And even though it's a demonstration, it is an exact replica of an active account. It performs just like an active account is going to perform, okay? And as you can see, Okay, this whole entire back office, if you would, move my little uh, camera over there. And uh, I want you to come down here and see where it says a co-op wallet. We are opening up digital wallets and banks on the blockchain, okay? That's what a lot of the big major companies are doing. Now they're offering you to get involved with their ecosystem for free. Now understand, when you get involved for free, that means you are the product. And so anytime and every time you enjoy their services and you create transactions on Cash App, Zelle, Coinbase, Crypto.com, and all those, okay, the cash flow goes to their crowdsourcers, their board of directors, right? Not us, right? So, but I want you to see. So all we do to open up an account, now those of you who are guests that are watching this, I want you to see that there's zero skill set required here to open up the account. All we're doing is you're going to put in a person's first name, last name, email address, and a phone number, and then you're going to assign them a token. Okay? And that's when you're going to purchase that token to activate the account. But this being a demonstration account, it's going to literally show you, you can see it says potential donations, okay, potential results, be it when you open up these accounts, the money that predictably that's already predetermined that's coming to you instantly. So right now you see your amounts are at zero, correct? You see this Tuesday, December 7th is at the top. I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna put in three names of information. So I'm gonna do Tony Parker, Tony Parker, uh, let's do two two at coopcf.com. Put in a random phone number. I'm going to come down here and do Magic Johnson. Magic. Maybe if I know how to spell magic right, right? I got Magic. <laughs> magic. Here we go. Johnson at coopcf.com. Okay. And I'm going to put in one last one. Let's do... Uh, uh, Ron Goodman at coopcf.com. Okay, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, guess you're watching. This is our own digital bank, and right now your results are at zero. Do you see that? What you've received for the day, zero. What you've received for the week, zero. All the way, zeros, okay? Now, this is as if you're opening up an account, a digital bank, and this is all that we do, and these three individuals will have a whole entire system set up automatically, just like you're seeing here for Tuesday, December 7th. So just take out Tuesday, December 7th and put your name there, got it? So, once I do that, I'm just going to click invite right here. OK, 
okay? And right there, it says successfully, done. Close out this window here. I'm gonna scroll back up. Now remember, okay? Your participation okay, that you did right then, all, it, all the effort that was involved was put in the first name, last name, email address, phone number. And when we go up here, folks, notice how your results have gone from zeros across the board to 2625 and 262.50. I want you to write that number down, both of those numbers, please. Write both of those numbers down. Now, right, here, right then and there, this literally takes place each and every time, okay? Someone opens up and does this execution. I like to call this instant withdrawable cash flow. Folks, you're able to go to your co-op wallet because everybody receives their own private decentralized wallet. This is where all your monies come. The system does it all. It's all automated. It's all programmed and baked into the infrastructure of the system that's operating on the blockchain. That's not having men or man or people deciphering, you know, the exchange of money. It's not somebody sending it to somebody's PayPal and end up sending it to the wrong PayPal. Guys, I've been having conversations throughout the week with administrators of these platforms, and they're showing me all the cons and explaining why this thing never manifested. And then there were times where people were creating fake accounts just so they could put names on the board, so to speak, to make it look like it was growing just to, just to sort of manipulate people to get involved. Here, ladies and gentlemen, because it's on the blockchain, you're not able to manipulate, change, hack, okay, or tamper with this whole entire operation. And all anyone's doing is just doing a one-time execution. So right here in this example, you're not required to do anything else. And do you see you have money that's instantly in your account? Now, I want to show you the next part of the automation because this is what happens. Every time an account opens up, transaction happens. A transaction is happening at the same time an account opens. An account opening and a transaction happening is all one and the same, okay? Now, watch this. So I'm going to go to your personal team because all this is calculated in the system, in the back office. So I'm going to take Magic Johnson in this, in this example. I actually know what I'm going to do, Tony Parker. Let me do Tony Parker, okay? So I'm going to take this Tony Parker and I'm going to go to the logout, to, to the login screen again. And I'm going to take out Tuesday, December 7th, okay. put Tony Parker there. I'm going to log in. Now, just like Tuesday, December 7th was, you see Tony Parker at the top right there? Okay. Let me save that, move out the way. Tony Parker there. Tony Parker is all at zeros. Are y'all tracking? Okay. I'm going to go down and do the same thing for Tony Parker. I'm gonna just do it, uh, do Greg Miller. Greg Miller at coopcf.com. Okay, let's do Jack Jenkins. Jack Jenkins at coopcf.com. Okay, sorry, coming up. I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna do a business on this one. Harry's uh, muffler shop. Harry muffler at coopcf.com. Okay, now, just like what Tuesday, December 7th, although you take that name out, put your name there, correct? They, they opened up an account digital bank for Tony Parker and a couple of others. I'm only doing Tony Parker for the sake of time here. Tony Parker, I went to his account, 
And I'm going to do the, and I just did the exact, exact thing. But I want you to see Tony Parker's all at zeros, just like, okay, the previous account was, correct? Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit invite. And this is just as Tony Parker is opening up a digital bank for Greg Miller, Jack Jenkins, and Harry Muffler shop. Hit invite there. See successful there. And I want you to see the same exact thing transpires with Tony Parker's account. Again, 2625, 26250. That is instant withdrawable money. I just went into two accounts and within a span of maybe 10 minutes, you just saw two accounts with, bo with both close to $300. But just like the previous account, Tony Parker's account has the same predictable result that came instantly. See, right there, as I was explaining to those administ administrators, as they was telling me, that's game over. Because why? That never takes place in any one of them. Now, but here's the second part of this incredible infrastructure and automation. Because as accounts open, as transactions were taking place, because they're gonna happen with the automation, okay? Which I'm gonna break down here in a minute. But I'm gonna go back to the login screen, okay? And I'm gonna go back to the previous account, which was Tuesday, December 7th. And I want you to see if their results are the same or are they different? So I'm, now remember their results were at what? 2625 and 26250, correct? If you guys have been a part of a loom or been a part of any Ponzi or been a part of any blessing circle, do you see that Tuesday, December 7th has more money in its account? <laughs> now, do they still have the same amount of accounts that they open? Yes, three. Magic Johnson, Ron Goodman, Tony Parker. There's no more accounts that's been opened. But if you go to their monies, okay, they have more money. Are y'all tracking? Okay. Now, I had to have y'all to see that. Now, let me go to YouTube. I got some videos because I want to talk about these loans and how we are not them, family. Now, I brought up, make sure, no, you know what? Probably, yeah, they should be able to see my screen. Let me, uh, let me, uh, let me stop the share. Let me uh, share my screen here. Let me share my screen. All right. Okay. Now, first thing I want y'all to see, I brought up these charts. Okay. So I want y'all to see these gifting looms. Okay. Now, this is a generous gifting loom, a quick guide to how to keep it moving. Okay. Many of, them have, many of them have showed up like this, where you have the receiver, then you have cheerleaders, coaches, givers. Now, if you look at this, it's the same infrastructure. It's just, it's just put in a different chart where it's an octagon, so to speak, versus a, you know, versus a linear pyramid. But it's the same amount of folks. You have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spots. So basically the person at the top and 14 positions under them. And this receiver doesn't receive any money until the giver, okay? Until these givers come in and that's when the receiver receives from all these people. But none of these people have received anything immediately. None of these people receive anything immediately. And none of these people have received anything immediately. It's just everybody has invested. 
Okay, here's another one. Let me minimize that one. Oops, put it down here. Okay, let's just do it this way. Recent. Uh, Go to this one here, eternal seed here. I want y'all to see this. Again, eternal seed. See, you have a person at the top, they call it the junior. And then you have the sophomores. Well, I guess this would be the senior here. Yeah, this is the senior at the top. So the red, so the reader holic is the senior. And then you have the junior and in, in, you know, in the octagon, these were called cheerleaders. The sophomores here were called coaches and the freshmen here uh, were called the givers in the loom. But the bottom line is when this person invests, they receive nothing. When, this per when these people invested, they received nothing, okay? It wasn't until these people came in here is when the senior that had to elevate to the top with this thing rotating. So watch this. So with this person right here, when they did their contribution, again, no product, no service. It was just people coming together. Now as legitimate or as integrous as the leaders could have been, okay, because of the delayed gratification, because people had to wait on cycling, because it wasn't automated and all those different dynamics were not in place is why these things and people never won with these and it destroyed a lot of people's confidence. It scarred a lot of people. And that's why I felt it was important that as a leader, I address this, okay? So that, you know, we could have this conversation. Now, this person got involved, right? So listen to this. First off, in order for them to move up, this person here had to be paid. And so this person not paid until this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person. And then these people, as they come in, okay, that's when the reader holly got paid. When the reader holly got paid, he moved out of the top. Uh, and then, you know, these people, then this person would then take the spot over here. Okay, and so then this person would then move up to be in one of these spots, right? Still ain't received no money. So then guess what? Now this person here is up at the top. And so what had to happen? This person had to come, you know, and, and well then these people here had to bring in two people. So that's another folk, eight folks there that would contribute to this person. And then this person left. And then you would then be at the top, but then you have to wait for eight more people to come in again. So three times eight, <laughs> that's, uh, you know, so you can see people's frustration. You can see people's uh, 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 disappointment. You can see people's uh, just, you know, total loss of trust and again having to having to deal with their circle of friends that they've invited this uh to this thing because you know our circle they're our close friends we don't want to invite them to anything and they didn't make no money you didn't make no money and so therefore you know now your whole witness and your influence has been watered down and shut off guys i'm just giving you the real here, right? So let me go to this YouTube video because I got just two YouTube videos to play for you. Just two. So let me uh let me minimize this. Let me uh, close that down there. Let me play this one here real quick. Let me make it bigger here. All right, here we go. 
more people are looking for a little extra money during the COVID-19 pandemic, but sadly, more scams are also popping up. Now, if you look in your feed, you see the scams maybe asking for some money and promising much more in return. But as 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens reports, it's illegal if you participate. If it seems too good to be true, probably is. Yeah. A quick buck? Is it legit? That's the question many people across Hampton Roads asked themselves over the weekend when these blessing looms popped up on social media. So this would be classified as a pyramid scheme. Unfamiliar with the blessing loom? Well, here's how it works. You pay money to join the loom using something like Cash App, but the goal is to get other people to pay and join too. Once they do, the person in the center cashes out and walks away with a couple hundred dollars. To get paid, it requires you recruit others to join. But Hampton police say it's illegal. Sergeant Reggie Williams says under Virginia law, this is classified as a pyramid scheme. It involves the exchange of money primarily for enrolling other people into the scheme without any other product or service being offered or delivered. This is how Newport News police breaks it down. Because pyramid schemes rely on new members to bring in money, the scheme often collapses when the pool of new recruits dries up. When the scheme finally does collapse, most of the people, except for the few at or near the top, lose their money. A spokesperson says the department investigates these pyramid schemes but has not received any reports regarding this one. William says anyone who participates could face a class one misdemeanor charge. We always encourage folks when, when you see something like this to slow down, Think about it, do your research, and talk to them when you try. So, if you see one of these pop up on your social media feed again, don't fall victim. Just go the other way. In Newport News, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys, hold on. I got one more. One more video for us here. Let me go here. Let me click on that. Oh, Mr. Wicks. The way that you develop authentic content is by enabling brands to build authentic relationships with creators. It's clear that brands require new capabilities in order to. Here we go, guys. Channel 2 Investigates is looking out for your money tonight with a warning about a scam that's making the rounds on social media. It's called Blessing Looms. It's been around for a few years now, but right now during this pandemic, even more people are falling for it, desperate to find ways to make ends meet. Joel Eisenbaum tonight with the Channel 2 Investigation. To me, the Barnes has a good job. I'm a nurse. So you're working your tail off. Right. To me, there's also a single mom. In so many ways, she is a real life hero. But this year, 2020. I just came off of having COVID, so I was out for four months. The stress, the bills. To me, they needed cash. And the opportunity that presented itself was something a lot of us have seen lately on social media. Something called a blessing room, which is more like a blessing curse if you don't be careful. Read the uh, Federal Trade Commission. It also makes it illegal to make money on these types of scams. So there are known as pyramid scams. You pay in, recruit others that also pay in, and they recruit others who pay in, and so on. Building a pyramid. When you get to the top, you supposedly get a big payoff. Blessing looms somehow add the hook that it's all a religious experience. Makes it seem like it's connected to God or something. Right. I guess when you get the 11,200, it's a blessing. Tamitha never got blessed. And what's worse and what's common. I brought myself, my mom, two of my cousins. And that was $5,600. The Blessing Loom group Tamitha joined is called Destination Freedom. They were on Zoom a lot. And this woman, Norma, identified herself online as an administrator for the group, part of the so-called money team. She even posted a pic of her new BMW she says she bought with cash. But finding Norma... 
office is. I've been the manager here since early December. Yeah. Of last year, and I've never met him. Finally, a Facebook page, Norma J. Johnson, the money queen. Even a picture of that same BMW. Hey there, Norma. And let me tell you, that car, well, it's even more beautiful in person. We have some folks um, that are upset because they've lost some money in the whole blessing room thing. Okay. What, can you try to make them whole or give them their money back or what because blessing looms are illegal according to police okay um i don't want to say anything because i really don't even know what you're talking about for not knowing what we're talking about norma has now disappeared as an administrator for destination freedom even the money queen's facebook page is suddenly inaccessible please get out of my yard you don't want to talk about it yeah. if i just had a nickel for every time i've heard that maybe i could pay to meet the back but at the moment nobody has it's a lesson learned for me but hopefully i'll get my money back we hope so it's important to point out nobody in this story has been charged with a related crime but if you all right folks back with you back with you okay so we're going into it man i'm going i'm going all in it D4 doesn't back down from anyone. I love being transparent. That's why I'm transparent, okay? That's why I'm transparent, ladies and gentlemen. I'm transparent for that reason right there. People getting scammed out of their money because, I mean, with all intents and purposes, I don't know any of the people that started those or anything like that. I've known friends that have gotten involved. I never personally have gotten involved, uh, but uh, you know I've been in MLM for 18 years, okay? And we were always told that things were not legitimate unless there was a tangible, like a juice or you know something that we can touch and feel. But in the digital space, guys, there's a many, there's so much technology where it's intangible. We can't touch Cash App. We can't touch a digital wallet. We can't touch cryptocurrency. But yet, it's making money hand over fist, okay? And it's legitimate. It's services within because somebody's providing you a peer-to-peer -peer payment service. Now, one thing I want to go into, okay, is that I want you guys to see that, you know, Cash App, as we're just like Cash App, it's just, it's already predetermined, it's already uh, put into the system and how Cash App receives money and receives cash flow. So I just want to go over that real quick because I think that's very, very important. Because as I'm making the comparison, I need you to see the parallel. Because if you don't see the parallel, then you'll be left to being uneducated. And I don't want you to be uneducated, right? So uh, let me share my screen again. Well, I'm already sharing it, okay? So let me, okay, let me see. This is maximized for some reason. There we go. I'm trying to get to my windows here. There we are. And uh, uh, Wikipedia, no, Investopedia. Here we are. Investopedia. I thought I already had it up, but I guess I don't. Yes, I do, right here. There it is, Investopedia. So basically says right here, how Cash App makes money, okay? Cash App, right here, Cash App is a peer-to-peer -peer payment service owned by Block, okay? Launched in 2013, making it one of the first such peer-to-peer -peer payment apps, right? Um, come down here. Where is it here? I pass it up. How Cash App makes money, okay? How Cash App makes money. Cash App makes money by charging businesses to use their application and by charging individual users transaction fees. Are y'all are y'all are, are y'all reading that? Okay. So there's transaction fees that we get on their ecosystem for free, and when we're on their ecosystem, folks. 
we're utilizing a digital wallet that we receive that has them to work peer to peer with us. That's why you create a username because that username key is your uh, it's what gives you unique access to your personal digital wallet. So then on the back end, they know who they're doing business with. So it gets assigned to you, coded. Okay, that's why you're putting your personal information in there because anytime that username is used, it knows this is your account. That's how everything, it's like, it's like a profile with their digital ecosystem. Now, this is how they're making money. When anytime there's an account that opens, a deposit that happens, and a transaction takes place, anytime, every time, all the time, through their ecosystem, with everybody having a digital wallet, okay, Cash App is receiving cash flow. Listen to this. Use the transaction fees. For instance, instant money withdrawals. Now we know in Cash App, there's no fee for uh, for regular money withdrawals where it takes two to three business days to get to you. But if you want to receive the money instantly, watch this. The cost for that is 0.5 percent to 1.75 percent of the value transferred out. That's with individuals. Watch this. Charging businesses. Cash App charges businesses that accept Cash App payments 2.75% per, per transaction, okay? These payments can be made in two ways. But this is why I want to ask you, do you think only two transactions are happening a day with Cash App? <laughs> no, it's millions of them, beyond millions every single day, throughout the day, throughout the week, Throughout the month, when transactions take place, it's cash flow. We are bringing our economic. We're the one that's causing that. It's us that's doing the transactions. So we're bringing our economic value because many of us have a cash app. Many of us have a Venmo, a PayPal, a Zelle. Okay, I'm just showing you one company. Okay, let me show you this. Let me show you this flyer here. <laughs> uh, that it right there. Okay. So y'all see here, Cash App Profit 2018 to 2021. Okay. Look where they are in 2021. $2 billion, ladies and gentlemen. They've gone from 3 million users in 2016 to a network effect to where now they're close to, well, right, well, right, well, right now, because that's back in 2021. 2022 going to 2023, they're close to 70 million active users on their platform that have a digital wallet. 70 million. Can you, can you think about how much cash flow we are generating for this company? Okay. Again, this is not two, this is not two billion dollars in annual revenue. This is two billion dollars in profit. That is take home money, profit, okay? from opening up digital wallets on their ecosystem, utilizing their services, generating those transactions that we generate as we're using their platform, okay? Just showing you, drawing the parallel, okay? This is what we are. Now, uh, I have a photo here. I want to bring this one up. Because to open up a cash app is the same amount of skill set that it is to open up a wallet with us. You guys just saw. I went and I did what? A first name, a last name, an email address, right? And then when I hit the button, it opened up an account and immediately you saw money with that transaction. Did you or did you not? Yes, you did. So no skill set required. Like Cash App, send and receive money, member to member. We do the same thing. Send and receive money, member to member. It's peer to peer, member person to person, peer to peer. Over here, they do a username, your user, Cash App name. We have your donor key. Okay. So you get a unique donor key that gets assigned to everyone that opens up a digital bank with our particular platform. 
Theirs is a custodial wallet, meaning they have the control, Cash App, and anybody else, Venmo, PayPal, uh, American Express, and all those. Hence why PayPal, okay, if you're receiving money and they can't quantify it, they can literally shut your account off and you have no access to your money. That is called custodial. They, they own it. They govern it. Okay? They have the command and the control, and there's no privacy at all. Whereas with us, we're a hybrid model. We're a custodial and a non-custodial. You have control and you have privacy. Okay? See, folks, thinking long term, you're going to want to have a co-op wallet. Because it's going to get, get to the point, the government is already putting it out to where they're going to be in control. We're going, we're going from a cash-less society because they want to monitor all the monies. And so what you're only operating on their platform, you're not going to have any control and no privacy. Where with this decentralized wallet, or any decentralized wallet for that matter, it gives you the ability to be able to transact. You have um, you have control and you have privacy, okay? And you want a little bit more extra, okay, privacy, we even have where we train you about getting you an actual hard wallet, but I'm not going to talk about that right now, okay? Also, connected to your bank account. So your bank account is connected to Cash App, where with us, because We'll have your money where you're able to send it over to your crypto exchange or wherever, because again, we're, we have cryptocurrency, okay? And your bank account is connected to your crypto exchange. Okay? So you have 24 hours, seven days a week access to your money here. And it's decentralized, it's private, you have the control. That means nothing can shut you off from your money at all. Okay? Now, I want to get that all out of the way just so we can get back to the blessing looms. This is why, guys, the blessing looms faded out, didn't work, and many, 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 many people did not receive money from it. Because these two words right here, rotation and cycle. When rotation and cycling is involved before anybody makes money, it's called a chance. Meaning that there's a chance you may make money, there's a chance you may not. Okay. And, and the reason why, because it all comes to this one word right here, delayed gratification. Now, I know people are like, well, I mean, nothing wrong with delayed gratification. We shouldn't always want, you know, money quick, quick. Well, it's not about having money quick, quick. It's eliminating skepticism. It's eliminating apprehension. It's eliminating worry. It's eliminating doubt. Okay? When you have delayed gratification, you have doubt, you have anxiety, you have worry. It puts a certain energy to where many people will just, you know, lose luster. They don't, you know, because the faucet needs to continue to run. If the faucet is only dripping, people don't want a faucet of cash flow that drips. They want a running river of cash flow coming. And so by things being happening instantly, okay, it brings on a different energy. So, but let's go through it. So remember. What happens? Person here starts, and then what? They have to bring in two, and then those two bring in two, right? And then these two, and then these guys bring in two more. At least that's the way they make it works, right? And then they get together and do all kind of things and pump ups and motivation and inspiration and prayers and, you know, Kumbaya, all that, you know? I, guys, these are what the administrator is telling me. And guys, here, you're having to, it's primarily man, you know, man-driven, where people are, you know, sending money to, you know, their person personally, 
you know, uh, just to make sure it gets all up. Then you have somebody that's, you know, factoring in, well, whose turn is it to receive? And, you know, well, did they receive already or did they receive enough? So, guys, that's when it goes haywire. And when it's a mess, but I understand this is going out. Now, there are some people that receive money. I can't, I, we can't say nobody received money. But typically, it was those when the thing started getting off the ground. And those were that got in first because the idea, you know, it was, you know, they put an eloquent speaker and they, you know, and preached the idea. And we coming together, we be able to get everybody, you know, money and get money that they need for the thing that they need it for. Yada, 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 right? Again, I'm not casting any aspersions. Man, I wish they would have worked. But when it's man driven, and it, it doesn't have these dynamics or certain dynamics that don't institute uh, inspiration to keep going where everybody is having and dealing with delayed gratification. Because why? Look, because like I said, this person here, the receiver, does not receive until these spots here come in. Now remember, these two have invested, they didn't receive nothing. Th these four here have invested, they haven't received nothing. These people here, when they come in, they haven't received anything either, but now the receiver now receives from them. Here it is, I've always said this in my presentation, these people's effort doesn't contribute over here, these people over here don't contribute to anybody over there. And by, uh, my person, sorry, got the error. <laughs> so now let's take. So once these eight positions get filled, now this person here what goes to the top. Now what they have to do, they have to wait for. So first of all, they had to wait for this one and this one. Now they got to wait for eight more positions to come in before they receive anything. Now. Now, I don't know how many people that is, but I know that's a whole lot of people. And the further and further and further this continues, the longer and 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 longer that takes people to receive money. What my red pen? And that's why this becomes daily. And you got, you got thousands of videos. People are trying to help people. Don't get in this. Don't do it. Right? And I understand. But family, we're not there. We're not there, family. Now, I want to do something. Now, well, should I do that first one? Yes. Let me do this first. So, let me show you how ingenious and how our infrastructure works, folks. Because with every contribution, okay, so first off, everyone in our platform is only doing a one-time execution that they're only ever required to do one time. Okay, So a one-time execution, what I call a 1E, that you only have to do one time. A one-time execution that you only have to do one single time ever. And ladies and gentlemen, anytime there's a contribution, I want you to watch this. Okay? Anytime there's a contribution, that contribution gets broken up. It gets broken up. And this is programming the system. This is not uh, somebody, a computer wizard sitting by figuring this all out. This is already what we call baked into the system. This is already programmed into the system, okay? This is already set up and engineered in the infrastructure to where anytime there's a contribution, folks, it's gonna contribute automatically to 10 people every single time. Every single time. 
and understand something. You are always going to be one of the 10. So what I mean, so let's say if you were here, you did the contribution, okay, here. Well, actually, you know what? Bad example. Hold on. Actually, before I get to this, let me uh, show you this uh, on the screen. Okay. Now, I'm going to use the name of the young lady that was on that video when she had that reporter come and interview her. Her name was uh, Tamitha Barnes. Okay. And remember, Tamitha Barnes. She brought in herself, she brought in her mom, and she brought in who? Her two cousins. And if you notice, if you missed it, she said she put in $5,600. Now, I don't know if that was just for herself or for all of them, but $5,600. Guys, that's a lot of money, man. It's a lot of money, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's somebody's maybe, I don't know, four or five years of savings for a lot of people, okay? So, man, I understand. That's why I had to make this video, because I understood. People coming off that kind of money, that hurts when you lose that kind of money. And folks, it's lost money when you ain't received nothing back. Follow me? So, let me share my screen again. Yeah, I love what I do. Okay, so let me go here. All right, let me go here. Let me go back to move you down out my way. Go back here and go to the login screen. Because I've already created her an account, but I didn't want to go through it until I got, so T-Y, there she is, Tamitha, Tamitha Barnes, okay? So I'm gonna log in as Tamitha Barnes. Hope you guys are tracking. Close that out, close that out, close that out, okay? Now, me, now I'm gonna turn my video off. Even though it's off, you can still hear my voice. Now y'all see, welcome. To meet the Barnes, y'all see that, right? So if anybody knows to meet the Barnes, we need to put this in front of her because obviously, guys, she has uh, the desire to want extra cash flow. Okay, but now she can do it with a legitimate operation. So all I'm gonna do with Tamithia, I'm gonna go down here again. You see, her results are at zero. Now this is a lady that put in fifty six hundred dollars and received nothing. Going to come down here, and we're, I'm going to put in her mom. That's what I'm going to name this account, her mom. i do her mom here. And uh, just do 558 at coopcf.com. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. I'm going to copy her mom here. I'm going to come down here. And uh, I'm just going to put in, let's do uh, Ben Henning. Benny Henning. Okay. Got it. Okay. At coopcf.com. And I'm going to do, let's do a charity. Let's do. Um, Senior care charity. Senior care charity. Okay. At coopcf.com. Okay. You guys see in this. So this is just as Tamitha or Tamitha Barnes. Okay. She's at zeros across the board. She's at zeros across the board. Y'all seeing that? Okay. She's about to open up an account 
for her mom, for Benny Henning, and senior care charity. And watch this, guys. As soon as she opened up these accounts, okay, my computer's running a little slow because I'm on Zoom, but are y'all seeing instant withdrawable money? She's going to instantly receive here because there again, it's already programmed in the system to have these percentages paid out on her own participation. Folks, there is no program. I'm, I'm even talking about the legitimate ones that have you receiving money. And again, all to meet the did was put in three names of information. Does it work? Absolutely. How soon does it work? Instantly. Now, she says she brought her mom in, right? I'm going to log out. Now, remember, Tamithia is at 2625, and she's at 262.50. Y'all see that, right? So let me go over here. I'll go back to the login screen. And now I'm going to open up the account. I'm going to log into her mom and the profile we created for her mom. You see her mom. I don't know her mom's name, so I just named her her mom. Y'all tracking. Her mom right there at the top. You see, her mom just got, to, just got created this whole entire system just like Tamithia Barnes was. Mom is all at zeros. Now, I'm going to have mom do uh, open up account for the two cousins. So I'm going to do cousin one. Let me do cousin one like that. Cousin one, two, three, at co-op. Demo uh, coopcf.com. Put in a phone number and I'm going to do, uh, uh, you know, let me do cousin. Actually, I'm not going to do cousin two right here. Let me just put in two names. Let me do uh, uh, Nikki, do Nikki Barnes. Barnes, Barnes, okay. Uh, three, three at coopcf.com. And let me do Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence at co-op, co-opcf.com. Okay, now I'm gonna copy cousin one. Y'all see me copying cousin one. Now, I am going to hit the button and remember, Mom was at zeros across the board. Are y'all seeing how instant mom received money? There was no rotation she had to wait on. There was no cycling that mom had to wait on. When mom opened up the accounts, those are transactions that took place, just like Cash App, just like Venmo, anytime and every time transactions happen from this day onward, it's going to serve as residual cash flow that's predictable and reliable. They can't move out of the way of receiving money. Nobody can, folks. Nobody will be able to, folks. Now, I want you to see mom had the same predictable results. Folks, when it's predictable, okay, when it's predictable, it takes out any guesswork. It takes out any speculation. It takes out any doubt. It takes out any worry when it's predictable and instant because it's already predetermined. All we have to do is do the one-time execution. Now, I'm gonna log out as mom and I'm gonna log in as to meet them. So go back to the login screen. Remember, to meet them was at 2625, right? And she was at 262.50.
Do y'all remember those amounts? Tamitha, do you have more money? <laughs> remember what I said, ladies and gentlemen, any time and every time that the transaction, it is broken up and the person that made the contribution receives and everyone else prior is going to receive each and every time. More money comes to them. More money comes to them, folks. Do you think, to me, there's going to have a problem that she's able to show actual factual proof because this money is in her co-op wallet that she's able to withdraw because it's instant withdrawable money. When you have $50 or more, you can withdraw every single penny because it's your money. It's your account. Nobody else has access. It is your specific account. And everybody gets their own specific account that only they have access to. And your money comes directly to you. You do not have to wait for somebody to sit there, you know, making sure you got somebody's PayPal account. No, because everybody gets their own user link, profile link that's connected to their whole entire system. And only you have the password to this. And when you go to your co-op wallet, yes, it, yes, it wants two-step Google Authenticator. We're able to add funds. Okay, we're able to, to have, you know, see invoices and see all transactions that take place. And we're also able to do uh, member to member transfers once it's an active account. The only reason why I was not saying member to member transfer, this account is not active. Now, I want to go one further. I want to now go to one of the accounts that mom opened up. Remember, that was cousin one, right? So let's remember the let's remember the amounts though. Tamitha is at 30 and 300. Tamitha can take a screenshot because I want her and her mom to be able to show people as they are having them to put in put them in front of this that they have received money. Because that's the evidence that these looms were not able to do. And they have people being manipulative of showing them in cars and hyping it up. I don't have to hype nothing. Nobody here has to hype nothing. Why? Because the money, because the system is already programmed. It's going to happen. It's already predictable. It's already predetermined. Now, that's this, guys. I'm going to go back to the login screen. We'll go back to the login screen. Now I'm going to do an account that mom created. Remember cousin one? Okay. When we log in, just like to meet the account was at all zeros, just like mom account was at all zeros. Cousin one, you see that at the top there, they have their own unique URL. We go to their personal team. They have nobody in it. Okay. Nobody's there. So let me go back here. Okay. Here, I'm going to add cousin two. I'm going to come down here and now I'm going to do cousin two now. Uh, cousin two. At coopcf.com. Just doing a random phone number. Okay. Uh, let's do uh, Mary Tyler. Mary Tyler or at coopcf.com. Okay. And uh, let's do a lending institution. Lending, uh, forward lending company. Okay. Forward lending, CO, at coopcf.com. All right. Same thing, guys. Zeros for cousin one. Okay. When I hit the button, y'all saw it go from zeros to instant withdrawable money. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, every time, every time. See, you can have the peace of mind. Anybody comes here, not only is everyone gonna receive instantly, but everyone's gonna receive instantly continuously, even after they've done the one-time execution that they're only ever required to do one single time ever. See, mom and Tamithia, they've done their one-time execution. They never have to do this ever again. And yet, as this continues to move forward, everybody that does the execution instantly receives. Instantly receives, guys. So nobody has any doubt or worry at this point. No one. So now they go together as a cooperative group, mom, Tamithia, and cousin one, and they, they'll, they're going to show cousin two. Yo, cousin two. What? Cousin one got money. Mom got money. And Tamithia got money. <laughs> Guys, this is why folks out in the Netherlands have brought in 200 people in a week and a half. Because they finally found something with zero skill set required. Mom and, you know, we ain't out here trying to have people to become, you know, big time salespeople and big time closers and big time team, team builders. No. All they have to do is just open up digital accounts that they're only required to do one single time ever. A one-time execution, a one-time execution, a one-time execution. And I told you to write those numbers down because you're seeing their accounts have 262 and $26. So I've literally just went through three accounts just now. And each of them has close to $300 or more. But now let me log out. Because remember, mom was the one that opened up this account. Okay. Let's go back to the login screen. Let's go to let's go to mom. Her mom, right? Now you just heard that lady on the video say Tamithia spent fifty-six hundred dollars for her, her mom, her two cousins. And look at mom. Mom has more money. Mom has more money. Do I have to go back to the water faucet? <laughs> Mom has more money. Mom has more money. Mom continuously receiving money. Let me pause it. Let me go back here. Okay, let's go back to the login screen. <laughs> let's go back to the login screen, Jesus. Okay. See, see, we don't have to do no prayer. We don't have to do no kumbaya. We don't have to do none of that. None of this. We're just opening up digital wallets, just like we've already been doing with Cash App, Zelle, Venmo, Coinbase, Crypto.com, PayPal, and all those guys. It's just now the cash flow, instead of going into the big companies, to their shareholders, their board of directors, and their crowdsourcers, it's coming to the people that are bringing their economic value to these companies. So let's go to Tamithia. Tamithia Barnes. Uh, palm trees, okay. Palm tree there. Okay. Remember, she was at 30 and she was at 300. Y'all remember that, right? Just like mom just got to. Now guys, the mom and Tamithia would have more money if I used all the people. I didn't use all the people. I just used one just for, because I already knew how much demonstration I was going to be doing. But do you see, not only did mom receive instantly, not only did cousin one receive instantly, but as transactions were happening, from Tamithia onward, Tamithia kept receiving money. Did Tamithia open up any more accounts? Did she put in any more money or anything like that? No. 
She still has the same three accounts that she started with. She never opened up another account. And yet her money was at 262, then it was at 30, and now it's at 337.50 here and 33.75 here. Do you think Tamithia would be running around shouting right now? <laughs> Let me go to the board, guys. Let me go to the board. Let me go to the board, family. Let me go to the board, okay? Now, now you can see, now I can go back to this. Every time a contribution takes place, folks, it, it's gonna, 10 people are gonna receive from it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the person that made the contribution, they're gonna receive from it. In this example, it'd be you, okay? And nine other people, every single time. So let me draw that out. So with us guys, there is no rotation and cycling. With us guys, there is no chance. There is no maybe, okay? It is instant. And instant. Continuously. So not just instant, but instant continuously, anytime and every time transactions take place, accounts open, everyone's going to receive scalable ongoing cash flow. Okay. Now, here is the one time execution that everybody only does one time. The one time execution comprises of just two steps. The first step is you can just open up three accounts one time. That's the one-time execution. Everyone just opens up three accounts one time. And with those three, okay, those are basically going to be three friends that you're paying it forward for to have their accounts activated. But you want to select three that will do the exact same thing. That is the cooperative, the cooperation part of it. Okay. You do it, open up the three, and then have, and then those three do the exact same thing. So this would be you, and this would be uh, your three friends. Okay, they're gonna do three accounts one time. That's the automation, because everybody's doing this. They're opening up three accounts for three friends. They're gonna do the exact same thing one time. You're gonna open up three accounts for three friends that do the exact same thing for three of their friends, one time. You can open up three accounts. So evidently when you open up three accounts, this is gonna be, in Tamithia's case, this is gonna be me. Mom, cousin one, and cousin two. And then mom is gonna open up three accounts, cousin one, three accounts, and then cousin two will open up three accounts. And every time these accounts open and transactions take place, each person, first of all, is gonna receive what? Instantly. And as accounts continue to open from this day onward, after mom and three friends, instantly and continuously, you and your three, will receive from this day onward. Y'all know where I'm going, right? From this day onward, folks. From this day onward. And everybody is in the flow of the money. Everybody is in the flow of the money. Everybody is in the flow of the money. So, 
Let me put Draw big over here. Over here we got Loom and Ponzi. Over here, oh, hold on, let me stop my screen so you guys can see. Hold on, let me stop, y'all can't see me. Over here we got Loom and Ponzi. Over here we got Co-op Wallet. Okay? So we know this, right? So this is you. Okay. Over here, this is you. Are y'all tracking? Do I need to move this closer? Let me move this closer. It's my last act right here. So when you bring your two, do you receive any money over here? No. Over here, what are you gonna do? A one-time execution that you're only required to do one time. So we know that's gonna be three folks. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna just make it personal. Let me just put mom here. You and your mom. Now we know it's two people here and then each one of them got to do the exact same thing that they're only doing one time. So remember, everybody's doing what? Three accounts, one time. Everybody's doing that. But what happened when you did this? Let me move this out of the way. What happened when you did this? Unlike over here, when you did this, nothing. Over here, when you do when this, immediately when you do this, what happens? Money. <laughs> now what? Mom is gonna do the exact same thing. So guys, look, when I draw a line right here like this, that line, that means you're not required to open up any more accounts and you're not required to come out of any more money out of pocket. Now, cooperatively, you only open up an account for three friends that are gonna do the exact same thing. That's the cooperation part of it. So you, you open up them account because they said, oh, you know what, we're gonna do the same thing. And guess what? They're only required to do it one time. They didn't have to do it any more times than you did. Now, over here, this would be mom, right? Mom would have to do it. And then the person over here would have to do it. Let me ask you a question. When they did it, did they receive any money? No. Did you receive any money? No. Over here, three accounts one time. Did mom receive money? Yes. What else happened? You received more money too. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not gonna get excited yet. Now, when these folks do it now, so when these people come in now, are these people that brought them in, are they receiving anything? No. Is these people the level that mom is on? Are they receiving anything? No. Are you receiving something? Yes. Now you receive somebody. Over here. What are these people here doing? The same thing. What? They're doing three accounts that they're only required to do one time. A one-time execution. But, and they're only doing it what? One single time. What's gonna happen with them? Instantly, money. What's gonna happen with mom? Mom instantly receives more money. What happens with you? You also receive instantly more money. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me ask you this. I mean, just right there. I don't really need, I don't really need to go any further. Which one you think is going to continuously and continuously flow. It operating over here like this or it operating over here like this. Because now everyone's one-time contribution is contributing to everybody. 
<laughs> We're opening up a legitimate digital wallet, a intangible product that we're already doing with PayPal, with Sale, with uh, Cash App, with Coinbase, uh, with uh, Venmo, okay, with Crypto.com, Binance, all all those the digital wallets. Digital. Okay. All those are digital wallets. Now, so let's just go. This this don't work. This is getting written up in the news. This is what they're saying. Don't do this. And just if it was all legitimate, it's it's it's, it's gonna it's it's gonna fade out. Because at some point. Because people are not receiving, it's gonna be it's gonna then be incumbent upon these people here to have to bring in more people and more people. So it really caters to the go-getters now. Here, watch guys. These guys do the same exact thing. Three accounts, one time that anybody here has to do, one time. What's going to happen with these people? Money. What's going to happen with these people as a result? Then we receive more money instantly. What's going to happen with mom and these guys here as a result of this? Instantly more money. What's going to happen with you as a result of this? Instantly more money as well. This just continues to go. Why does it continue to go, guys? Because it's a cooperative. No one comes into our ecosystem unless they are going to cooperate with doing the one-time execution. If they're not going to be doing the one-time execution, basically saying, I don't want to be in the flow of cash flow by only doing a one-time execution of creating three accounts, they don't want to be in cash flow. Because, I mean, look at it. So these people get it right money, more money to them, more money to them, more money to them, more money to them. Notice everybody got a little black line. Did you, did, let me ask this question. As transactions were happening, accounts were opening, did you see anybody not receive a dollar sign or more dollar sign? No, you did not. Everyone's receiving the same predictable outcome. So now with Tamithia, her mom, and her cousins over here, they all receiving money. They all receiving cash flow. The faucet is turned on for everybody. Again, three accounts, one time. They're only doing it once. What's happening? Instantly money. What's happening? Instantly more money. What's happening? Instantly more money. Instantly more money. Instantly more money. Instantly more money. Again, three accounts, one time. Why does new people want to do this? They're going to receive instantly money, instantly more money here, instantly here, instantly more here, instantly more here, instantly more here, instantly more here. Sorry about my light that's blind in that spot right there. Can y'all see? How does it? Okay. Continues. Three accounts, one time. Guys, you, I'm going to tell you where this was solid as a rock is when, when a person did the participation, money instantly came. Do you know if this didn't happen?
happen with everyone's initial participation, then it would be delayed gratification. But because the ingenious and how this infrastructure is engineered, that every time an action is done, the already predetermined outcome is going to take place. So when they did it, instantly more money or instantly received. Instantly, as a result, they got more money. Instantly, 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 they got more money. Mom and them got more money. And you received more money. Family, we are not them. <laughs> We're not them. We're not them. So if you could, what I always like to say, you have to divorce the trepidation over here. I understand people have put thousands of dollars over here and lost. Everyone here wins and there's no maybe involved. Everybody wins here and there's no maybe. There's no maybe that when you do the execution, there's no maybe or maybe not you're gonna receive. It's with absolute certainty. It's already predictable and it's already a predetermined outcome. And so remember, every time you, okay, when you open up, do the one-time execution, okay, where you're opening up an account for mom, what happens? You instantly receive. Mom then is going to do the exact same thing. Let's say that's cousin one. Cousin one. What's going to happen with mom? Mom's going to instantly receive, and you are going to instantly receive more. When cousin opens up, maybe for even cousin two. What's going to happen with cousin one? Instantly receive. What's going to happen with mom? More money for mom. You, more money for you. Cousin then opens up an account for a church. Okay. What's going to happen to cousin two? Instantly going to receive money. Cousin one, instantly more. Mom, instantly more. You, instantly more. The church, they're going to open up. They're going to bring in church members. Church member, church member one. What's going to happen with the church? Money. What's going to happen with cousin? More money. Cousin one, more money. Mom, more money. You, more money. Church member one brings in church member two. What's going to happen with church member one? Money. Church, more money. Cousin, more money. Cousin one, more money. Mom, more money. You, more money. Church number two brings in another, maybe a nonprofit. You guys see that? Nonprofit. That's, I know cousin two, money. Cousin one, no, no. Church number two, money. Church number one, more money. Church, more money. Cousin two, more money. Cousin one, more money. Mom, more money. You, more money. Nonprofit. They bring in another nonprofit. What's going on with this nonprofit? Money. Church member two, more money. Church member one, more money. Church, more money. Cousin two, more money. Cousin one, more money. Mom, more money. You, more money. Is anybody not winning over here? We're not them, family. We're not them. We have something that's going to take cash flow and deliver it to the whole wide world, to the digital space. Everybody open up a digital wallet. Let me take you to our resource website. Now, this is our system. Everybody has access to this system, this marketing resource, and it's also our training resource 
Let me bring it up here because I want you to see our, uh, our mission statement. Excuse me. I want you to see our mission statement here. This is our vision right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is our community. It's called Smarter Than Money. To get to this website, it's called smarterthanmoney.com. We have presentations on this website, okay? There's even an overview by myself where I literally break down just what I showed you up here, okay? If you come down here, you click, if you go to vision, when you get to the webpage, again, it's smarterthanmoney.com. I wanna read our vision to you. The Smarter Than Money global community believes that true wealth or well being can't be found in a static balance sheet, no matter how large the accumulation of financial assets. True wealth, ladies and gentlemen, shows up in sharing and giving, allocating and distributing, nourishing and watering the projects, people, and purpose that we believe in and care about with the resources that flow to us and through us. When we, when we see money as something that flows like our lives and the world, Excuse me, uh, let me, re, uh, hold on, let me go back. When we see money as something that flows through our lives and the world, then we have the opportunity to allow this resource, just like water, to move and nurture the most people possible. In this way, money fulfills its highest purpose. This is when we all become smarter than money, okay? And folks, if you go to click on find out more, here, you'll see we have an overview there where you can watch and you can send people here and have them watch it, take a look at this. I also have my own uh, YouTube community, not YouTube, but Facebook community. Uh, I thought I had it up over here. Uh, let's see. Come on. And our Facebook community, guys, we're actually streaming live in that Facebook community. Okay. I'm not going to go to it right now just for, you know, I want to. You know, I, I try to keep, well, I can't keep these videos short because I believe in being thorough and letting people see the real, okay? Um, but we're at war with people not with it. This is what I'm calling the redemption company because many people have been scammed out of money uh, or many people just, you know, even put their best foot forward and they may have won, but maybe their team, okay, didn't have the, um, you know, the desired success really materialized for them. Because in many of those things, it takes a level of skill set. Because when it's production based and your success is connected to maybe or chance, meaning maybe you'll be successful, maybe not. See, if you lined 100 people up and did other things, some would have success, some wouldn't. You line 100 people up over here and everybody does the one time execution. There's no maybe. It's with absolute certainty. And then as those contributions are happening, guess what? It's scaling everybody's results. So there's nothing that can be done where a person does not receive cash flow. Because you're going to receive it on your initial participation of just doing the one-time execution. That you're only required to do one time. <laughs> Everybody's only required to do it one time. Never going to be required to do it again in a week, in a month, in two months, in a year, five years, 15 years, 30 years, 100 years. And it's going to serve you as ongoing, not just you, but everyone, as ongoing, residual, reliable, and sustainable cash flow that you cannot move out of the way of. It's inescapable to receive it and it's unavoidable for you to receive it. So that's my time guys. It's been my plum pleasing pleasure. I'll have this on a YouTube video where you can share it. Just let them know, hey, this leader Douglas Ford just took out the time to really break it down and show you we are not them family. Got it? This is D Ford. I'm out. Take care. God bless.